often ask this question to many of my participants as well as students at MBA colleges and at interviews as to what is the impact of an in a hike by interest of interest rates by the RBI on the bond portfolio. Hello everybody, I'm a learning partner Sushila Hariharan if you're interested in a career in investment banking operations, hedge funds, trade life cycle and OTC derivatives, do subscribe to my YouTube channel where we provide content centric research focused videos on these topics. I'm a finance professional with more than 20 years of experience in banking and investment banking and I want to share this knowledge with you all so that you can do better at your interviews, you can do better at your jobs and of course succeed as well. So let's talk about this. What is a bond? A bond has a par value, it has a coupon rate, it has coupon payment dates and it will be redeemed on a particular date, this bonds can mature in 5 years, 7 years, 8 years, any number of maturities. So the thing about a bond is it already is committed to pay a coupon to the investor on those particular dates. So there is a 5 year bond let's say for example and on that 5 year bond there are semi annual coupon payments which means there would be 5 times 2 that is about 10 coupon payments in the lifetime of that bond. The bond was issued itself uh, in let's say 2020 when market interest rates were at a particular level and over the period of the next five years obviously there is going to be interest rate volatility as Reserve Bank of India increases interest rates or decreases interest rates depending upon inflation and liquidity management. This also is closely linked to what the US Federal Reserve does because the US Federal Reserve also tends to increase or decrease the change the Fed rate because they want to keep a tight control over inflation as well as enable liquidity management. So let's understand this. If the bond is already traded, it's already issued and it is held by investors and the Reserve Bank of India or the Federal Reserve, the central bank of that particular country decreases their lending rate. Okay. In, the, in this case, the repo rate, in the US case, the Fed rate, etc., by 25 basis points. That means the sovereign, the sovereign borrowing itself has decreased by 25 basis points. So what is the impact of this reduction on the bond price that is already in the market? This is a question that I ask. What is the impact of a, of a Fed hike? Of interest rates on existing bonds that are already traded in the market because clearly this is the single most Im biggest impact that uh, affects bond prices. So the answer to that question is the bond prices will increase. Do you know why? Okay so let's say the Fed actually decreases the Fed rate by 25 basis points and the bond is already in in the markets, it's already trading, it's a fixed trade bond, it's already trading in the markets. That means the bond is trading at a price, the demand for the bond will increase or decrease? Quite naturally it will increase because the Federal Reserve has decreased interest rates but the existing bond is paying you a higher rate. So as the Fed has decreased the interest rates, the bond that is in circulation that is already being held by investors and being traded in the markets is paying the same existing rate. It is not going to change that coupon rate that is already in circulation. So naturally the demand for that bond would increase. When the demand for that bond increases, investors don't want to sell out that bond because they're earning a higher coupon. When the Federal Reserve is decreasing interest rates, it's signaling that it wants an era of higher liquidity. It's signaling that inflation is under control. It's signaling that their markets must borrow more. Therefore, the existing bonds which have been issued in the markets will have a premium attached to it because that coupon is issued at a time when the interest rates in the market were higher, when the Fed rate was 25 basis points higher. Hence, the price of that bond will increase as a reaction to the surge in demand for that bond because that bond is paying a higher coupon compared to the bonds that will be coming into the market after the Fed reduction of interest rates. 
once the Fed has reduced the interest rates, new bonds that come into the market will be aligned to the lower interest rates. They will pay a coupon, of course, notwithstanding credit worthiness and credit rating, they will pay a coupon that is lower than what they would have paid had the Fed not decreased interest rates. And hence, it's very important to remember the single relationship between bond prices and bond and bond yields that is when market interest rates increase bond prices come down and when bond when market interest rates decrease bond prices go up so we analyze the first situation as to what happens when the fed decreases interest rates naturally the price of the existing bonds which are at a higher coupon rate than the pre decrease era will have a surge in demand and hence the prices will increase. What happens in another situation when the Fed increases the Fed rate, let's say by 25 basis points, when the Fed increases the Fed rate by 25 basis points, it means that there is going to be a tightening of liquidity. The cost of capital is going to go up. It means that inflation might be increasing and hence they want to control the inflation and hence they are issuing, they're increasing the rate at which the government is going to borrow. What would happen to the bonds that have already been issued at a rate much lower than what it currently exists? Investors will dump those bonds because the coupon payment is lower than what even the government is borrowing at, right? I mean, the Fed is borrowing at the Fed rate, literally for the government, that is sovereign risk. Sovereign risk is paying a better rate. So investors who are holding corporate bonds at lower coupon rates will dump those bonds. And when they dump those bonds, there's no demand for those bonds because the interest rate is lower and hence the price of those bonds will come down. So we saw that when the Fed increases interest rates, the price of the bonds that are traded in the market that is held by investors will decrease because the investor who's having capital is willing to put in and wants to put in at a new coupon rate compared to the existing coupon rate. Hence the markets always, always price in what would be the bond yields and the bond in and then the fed interest rates which have an inverse relationship with bond prices this one golden rule of bonds literally drives the bond prices and hence this is called as bond behavior that is when the fed increases interest rate bond prices come down when the fed decreases the fed rate the bond prices will increase this inverse relationship is extremely common sense. There is nothing magical about it. There is nothing speculative about it. It is clearly common sense. It's something that we must understand simply because we know demand and supply always work in tandem. And the intersection of demand and supply is called as the price. Thank you so much for watching it.